Good morning, good morning. Let all the people of God say amen. To God be the glory for the thing that he have done. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Brother George, how are you this morning? Glad to see you tuning in. Thank you for your support. My niece Brenda in Chicago, Washington, Woodford. How are you doing, niece? Evangelist Canada. Oh, Curtis Steen, Mother Curtis Steen, Joan and Nick. How y'all doing down there? Great parade the other day. Hope you enjoyed it. Grace from Knoxville. How you doing, Sister Grace? Amen. All right. Chief Ditchman, how you doing? All right. Saw you leading the parade the other day. Good morning to all our friends, all our family. Amen. The lovely, lovely, nice, cool fall day. And we're going to, we are blessed. And we're going to be blessed with the word of God this morning. If you don't mind, share this, share this uh, a podcast with your friends, with your family, and with your network. All right. Chris is watching with us. Amen. God is good all the time and all the time god is good amen evelyn uh my sister peewee is with us as always how you doing bob hipler thank you for your support bob amen amen all right let's see we got some music there keandre watching watching with us there who we got here sean jones and the believers depending on you digging by bond watching stephanie how you doing calhoun Sharon rule Amen. Lois Whalen, how are you doing this morning? Michelle Conway. All right. Morning, uh, everyone. Morning to all. Amen. Let me get some volume here. Let me know if the volume okay. Sean Jones, the believer. All right. Depending on you. Are you depending on him? Nikki D, how you doing? All right. John Jones and the believers. All right, I'm depending on you. Good morning to one. Good morning to all. Amen. Dot Jackson, classmate, how you this morning? Amen. Shout out to the class of 73. Amen. Whatever class you are, you attended. Whatever year you graduated. Amen. 73 in the house. Anyone else in the house? Lord, I'm depending on you, Sean John and the believers. Mother Calhoun, I'd have made Calhoun whooper this morning. And Joe said we got to ride out the storm. Amen. All right, Sister Esther, class of 72, watch how you doing, Sister Willie May, Barbara Dye. Amen. Bless all of y'all. Any prayer requests, type them in the uh, comment box, please. Any prayer request, go ahead and type them in the comment box. I never will forget it. My mother told me. So Joe. Amen. She would always be there. Henrietta Avery, how are you doing? Sharon Hodges. Oh, Amen. Now I'm a road. Our prayer list. Thank you. Uh Living Mr. Jerry Gentry who laid to rest yesterday and almost 50 years in education in Mississippi. So we continue to lift him up and pray for his family. Amen. Mother Curtis Dean Jones with us, a lovely tribute led by Chief Dishman. Amen. Dot Don with us, lovely, lovely tribute to uh, Curtis Dean, uh, Mother Curtis Dean Jones. And the, praying for the Jones family. Mother Dar Laura. All right. Mother Cat Smith, Pastor J.C. Smith. Brady Bond, Maurice William, Deacon Bob Bond, Deacon Adam Bond, William Conway, Amen. Praying for the pastor, the teachers, and the preachers, Amen. We praying for all of you to get out and vote. We got to rock the vote this year. Mother Marguerite Hibbler, add her to the list. Thanks, Bob. We praying for uh, uh, the vote. Praying for the election. Praying that God's will be done. All right. Praying for a change. Praying for those with COVID, suffer from COVID. Lord have mercy. Chuck Williams. All right, Charles Williams with Chuck Williams, class of 76. How you doing, brother? Amen, down there in Georgia. We're praying for the Stevens, Grace Stevens and her family. Good morning, little brother, Leonard Conway, down there in Lula. Little Joe, little Joe Canada from uh, Germany is with us. How you doing, uh, Joe Jr.? Amen. 
Lord, I'm depending on you, Sean Johnson and the believers. Are you depending on him? You have any more prayer? Just type them in there. Come my box, please. We depended on him. We need God. We need Jesus. We may not think we do, but we need him. Jesus, Jesus. See, little Joe's waving at everybody. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Pee Wee said, good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Dr. Don. All right. Let me back that a little bit and play some more there. All right, before we go into prayer. Gracious Lord, we thank and praise you for life, for health, and strength. So much to be thankful for. And we realize, Lord, that we just don't thank you enough. So, Lord, this morning, before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything. All right, for life, for health, and strength. We thank you. All right, praying for the, the, the Gladys and her family, praying for Doc. Dr. Don, Dr. Jackson and their family praying for Adam and their family. We pray, Lord God, that you open up the windows of heaven and give them the blessing that they need. Because sometimes, Lord, we ask for things that we don't need, then we need things that we won't ask for. But we thank you this morning for your Holy Spirit that's able to take all our moaning, all our groaning, and present them for to the Father. Now come now, Lord Jesus, with your mercy. Come now, Lord Jesus, with your grace. We pray, Lord, God, your blessing on these thy people. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. All right, pray a little bit more. That niece, right? How you doing, sister? Right? Down there in Florida. Amen. Sean Jones, Lord. I'm depending on you. Are you depending on him? He's depending on you. And many of us have let us down. Let him down. All right. Lord Whalen, how you doing? Tina Whalen, Gladys Whalen, and all the Whalen family. Amen. Please share this message with your friends and with your family there. All right. Continue in Psalm. We're going to look at Psalm number four. Psalm number four this morning. All right, give you a second to get that those that want to turn to it. Psalm number four. Anybody here depending on him? I know I am. Depending on him for everything. And here we live, we move, we have our being. Without him, absolutely nothing we can do. Run that you're depending on him this morning. Good morning. Amen. I'm dependent. Money, money, money get funny. You got to depend on him. Amen. Good morning to everyone. All right. Psalm number four. King James Version record these words. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye son of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call upon him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifice of the righteous, Sister Kelly. Put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance on us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time of the corn and wine and creep. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only make it me dwell in safety. Amen. Callie D, how you this morning? Stephanie Coleman Sam. All right, and... Ruby Thaddy, Miss Thaddy, how you doing? All right, Dr. Tari, Dr. Tari with her this morning. Dr. Badger, Miss Thaddy, longtime cafeteria manager at Tunica County School. Thank you for your service and all that good food you supervised over, at the, over the year. Amen. Just for a little moment, coming from that eighth verse, only making me dwell in safety. 
want to preach from this topic this morning. God will keep you safe. God will keep you safe. All right, go ahead and, and, and personalize it. God will keep me safe. All right, personalize it. God will keep me safe. All right, let's look at Psalm number four this morning. In, in, in Psalm number four, David asked God to vindicate him from his accusers, and he found rest in knowing that the Lord God will keep him safe. All right. And we can find rest, sweet rest, in knowing that God will keep you safe. Personalize it. I find rest and much joy in knowing that God will keep me safe. Now, this uh, a, a part of David's life is from some known stress event. Many relate tie this uh, this psalm back to the previous psalm. All right, psalm uh, uh, psalm number three, talking about him running from his son Absalom, Absalom, that wanted to kill him and be king. So these are the events that David record after after this very stressful event. All right, and oftentimes when we deal with stressful event, all right, Sister Janice, how you this morning? All right, Janice Bond, we realize that we need God to give us that joy back and to keep us safe. Amen. Thank you for uh, Sister Canada for typing that you uh, uh, sow a seed into the ministry and the cap ash down there, New Corinth, Tunica. Amen. Now, one night, David prayed to God, show my enemies that you are fighting for me. God answered David, and this made him very, very happy. And David was able to sleep in peace. And this is the gist of the psalm. Of the psalm. God answered prayer. David prayed to God for vengeance, for help, Kanisha, with his enemy. And he told God to answer his enemy. God, you tell them. All right. And, and David went ahead and told God, what he wanted God to tell his enemy. And David, after praying to God, was able to sleep in peace. How many times have you struggled with an issue? Have been stressed out? Bills are due. Bills are high and money is low. All right. Sickness. Family members. And when you turn it over to God, the burden was lifted and you got that sweet rest that sweet peace, this peace that God gives, means that you do not feel afraid deep down inside. There be Lord is watching with us, middle school classmate, Boan, how you doing? Amen. Turn it over to God, and he will give you that sweet rest. God will protect us. Mother Cat's watching with us. God will keep you safe. God will keep me safe, and God will keep us safe. Turn it over to the God, and he will give you that sweet rest. Now, let's take a, a, a quick look at these, a, a psalm fold, these eight verses that was penned by David. David, the title on this, the, the head and said, give this to the chief musician, all right? Give it to the chief musician and tell him to use a string instrument. Use a, a guitar, use a lyre, use a lute, use the harp when you sing it. All right. The first thing that all right, the, the first thing that comes that David penned in this psalm is supplication. All right. Supplication. Now remember there are four types of prayer. And you can use the acronym ACTS, A-C-T-S, to look at those four different type prayer. You have A, adoration. All right, C, concentration or contrition. T, thanksgiving and supplication. All right, adoration when you adore God, you love him. 
consecration or contrition, the prayer of repenting, all right, and asking God to make you holy, to put you into the fold. The prayer of thanksgiving, thanking God for his many, many blessings. And as this psalm, David prayer was one of supplication, which is the sincere desire of, of your heart. David was pouring out his heart to God and telling him what you want. You have not because you ask not. David cried out to God for relief from his distress. And he said, hear, help, and have mercy. Hear, help, and have mercy. Hear me, oh, hear me when I call, oh God. Thou have enlarged me. Thou have helped me and have mercy on me. David cried out in this psalm, Lord, have mercy. David cried out to the God, Lord, answer me when I shout for help. All right. You are the God that make me righteous. Give me help in time of my trouble. Show me, you show me that you are kind God, a good God, and you listen to me when I pray. And though with the supplication that David cried, he cried out to the Lord, hear, hear my cry, help, help me in my situation and have mercy upon me. All right, so verse one, David showed his supplication. He poured out his heart under God, asking him, Lord, hear my cry. How many times have you cried out way over in the midnight hour? Lord, hear my cry. Lord, help. Lord, have mercy. All right. So he was crying out to God, told him to hear his plea, hear his prayer. And in verse 2, David told God what he wanted him to tell his enemy. And, and, and David, so after his supplication, he talked about his shame in, in, in verse 2. Let's see what verse 2 says. Oh, ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? Leasing is deceptiveness and lie. Okay, this is Lord. Tell my enemy this. All right, tell him. Lord, David's enemies are tempted to ruin his reputation with lies and groundless accusations. Sound like today from off his own high. Folks trying to ruin your reputation. Satan come for three reasons. To steal, kill, and destroy. To steal your joy, all right, and kill your reputation and destroy your good work. So David talks about the Direction, the devoted and the <coughs> detectiveness. Let's look at that. He he told him, all right, how long is the enemy was taking his good work? All right, Roy, how you doing? A uh, Kanisha turning his joy, his good work, and making up lies and story of trying to ruin his reputation, trying to shame him. And just like the enemy is trying to do for you, trying to shame you, to ruin your reputation, and destroy your influence and your good work. All right. So what David said, said you, you, you need to turn, stop trying to lie and turn my good works, all right, into shame. All right. You're devoted to vanity, all right. You love chasing after vanity. That's useless and silly and crazy and stupid stuff. All right, and he give this directiveness. Stop chasing after deceptiveness. Stop chasing after lie. So David called them the son of man, said, Lord, please, you tell the son of man, how long will you say that I am bad? How long will you love crazy and stupid ideals? How long will you run out there and try to heal lies. Good morning, Sister Lana. David said, Lord, they're trying to shame on me. 
But Lord, the shame is going to be on them. All right. So David crying out unto the Lord and realizing that God will keep you safe. David knew that God would keep him safe. All right. So we had the <coughs> we had the type of prayer that David prayed unto God. He had his supplication. All right. And he cried to God. He talked about the shame that the enemy was trying to ruin his reputation with talking about taking his good deed and trying to shame him, lying and spreading false rumor on you. And that's us today. They lie on, they lied on Jesus. And who do we think we are that they won't lie on us? Call us everything but a child of God. All right. And so, and after that, after he talked about his shame, he said, God, tell him about my sanctification. They trying to shame me, but God, you had sanctified me. God had set the godly apart for himself. And sanctify means to be set apart, to be used by God. He removed him and he responded to him. And that's in verse three. But <clears throat> know that the Lord has set me apart and that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call upon him. What David said, tell my enemy that you have uh, removed and you will respond. God said, David said, you already, they don't know that you have set me apart. I'm holy until the Lord. I'm sanctified and I'm filled with his Holy Spirit. You've been set apart. You've been removed from the rest of them. You've been set apart for use by God to do his work. And David said, respond when I call. David said, what my enemy don't know is when I call upon the Lord, he will answer me. He called his enemy the son of men. What the son of men don't know, how long, <clears throat> what the son of men don't know is the Lord has chosen me and he didn't choose them. What my enemy don't know is God has made me separated from you for himself. What my enemies don't know is that God will listen when I pray. The fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous Tina avail it much. When you call upon him, he will answer your prayer. God, David, kept on praying. Lord, you tell them. He tell them, Lord, you tell them that they need scrutiny. You see, David did his supplication, all right? His desire of God, Lord, you tell him. David had his shame where they tried to take his good work and ruin his reputation by spreading lies. So God, you tell him that I'm sanctified, that I've been set apart for you by my God. And now, Lord, you tell them to do a self-scrutiny. David called upon the people to search their heart in silence and trust in God. David said, Lord, tell them. Tell them in verse 4, they need to stand in awe and, and sin not. Commune upon your own heart and your bed and be still. What David said, God, tell them, tell them they need to stand in awe with fear and trembling. What this is mean, standing in awe and sin not, they need to sin not, be angry and sin not. You get mad, you get crazy, you want to do something. David said, go to bed. 
and we don't let the sun go down on our anger. That means we don't go to bed angry. We fix it up with God before we go to bed. He says, stand with, with all and trembling. Stand in anger, but sin not. We got to learn to be angry and sin not. He said, not only do you stand, not only do you sin not, you need to study. He said, concentrate, commune with your heart upon your bed. He said, why are you lying in bed? Meditate on these things. Meditate on the word of God and be still. Be still. Psalm 46 and 10 said, and know that I am God. I will fight the battle. Be still. And he kept on talking about God. Have them tell them the scrutiny, the scrutinize their heart, Buggy and Marie. Tell them once they get the heart right, they need to offer the sacrifice of righteousness. You see, only the righteous man, only the righteous woman can offer the sacrifice of righteousness. And finally, David said in that verse 5, offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. He said, swear by and trust in God. We trust in a lot of things. We trust in our money. We trust in our ability. We trust in our job, but we don't trust in God. We trust God on our money. We stamp it right on there. In God, we trust, but we don't trust God with our money. I'm talking about God will keep you safe when we swear by him, when we trust in him. I will trust the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is in will is within me. The songwriter said, I will trust in the Lord. And after David said, tell them to scrutinize themselves. Tell them to do a self-check. God will keep you safe. David said, Lord, in that verse number six, he said, Lord, smile on us. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord God, lift up thy continent. Lift up, lift the light of thy face on us. What David said was God, smile on us. The songwriter said, God, has smiled on us. He said, who will show us good? I'm here to tell you that my God is a good God. My God is a kind God. My God is a gracious God. The songwriter said, the psalm said, lift up the light of your faith. What this is saying, shine on us. That old Negro spiritual shine on me, shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. David said, Lord, after you tell my enemy what you're going to do, tell my enemy who I am. I am a child of the king. But mostly tell them who you are. You are the great God, Jehovah Jireh. I am that I am, the first and the last. Tell them that you fight the battle. We got to realize that who the battle is. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord. David said, God has shot smile on me. Shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. David said, many people said, 
who will do anything good for us. Lord, shine your light on heaven on us. Lord, smile on us. God, smile on the righteousness. God, let his light shine on the righteousness. The light from the lighthouse will keep us saved. God will keep me saved. God will keep you saved. God will keep us saved. And David concluded this psalm, this psalm of supplication in verse number eight, after he turned it over to God, after he prayed unto God and told him what to tell him, David said, I will have safety. I will be saved. David said, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only making me to dwell in safety. David said, thank you, Lord. I prayed about it and I turned it over to the Lord. And he responded unto me. He told my enemy that this boy, this king, this man, this girl, this woman is my child. I have sanctified them. I have set them apart for you by me. Go ahead and scrutinize yourself and do a self-check. Go after that. You will understand that I have given them serenity. That's in verse number seven. I have given them peace and I have given them joy. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time of the corn and the wine increase. David said, God, you put more joy in my heart than I had at the harvest ball. Yeah, you put more happiness and gladness in my heart than I had at the harvest party. You see, we like to party. We like Mary after much creep. But David said, I got more joy than I had at the harvest party. We used to party looking for joy. But I'm here to tell you that true joy come from God. Because he will keep you safe. He will keep me safe. And David said, knowing, Lord, that you got me in the arm of safety, I can lay down and go to sleep. I got this joy. I got this peace. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. True peace only come through Jesus. Do you know him? He water and dry places. He bread in a starving land. He's Alpha and Omega. He is the first. He is the last. I'm here to tell you that he will keep you safe. Yeah, keep you safe from all enemy. He got he your safe. I don't know about you, but I'm wrapped up. I'm tied up and I'm all tangled up in the Lord. Lord, build a fence around me day by day. The world can't take my joy. The world ain't give it and the show can't take it away. I realize sometimes you got to cry, but understand this, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. You don't have to wait till morning. David said, turn it over to God and you will get that sweet rest. You see, only the righteousness can have that sweet rest that come from Jesus, the bright and morning star. They went to Calvary Hill where they hung him high, stretched him wide. He hung his head, and for me, he died. For my sin, he died. For your sin, he died. They put him in the grave. He stayed right there all night 
Friday, all night, Saturday, but early, early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. He got power over the enemy. So when your enemy get on your cave, you do like David. Say, God, you tell him I am your child. God, you tell him I am separated by you. You tell him, Lord, I will fight your battle for my children. Tell them that I am all powerful. You met with my children. You met with me. All we have to do is get down in the same fighting position, down on our knees, and let the Lord fight our battle. Here to tell you that he will keep you safe from all hurt and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. God will keep you safe. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And God and all of his righteousness and all of his goodness. Can you imagine? We can only imagine. Can you imagine just standing before the king? Can you imagine? Tell me the man. I can only imagine. Can only imagine. Pray to God. Tell him about your enemy. You take care of him. Lord, you tell him. Lord, you show him. Anyway. And we can only imagine what he's doing. You can only imagine, Denisha, Bob Hilton, you can only imagine. Dot Don, you can only imagine. Dot Jackson, you can only imagine. Lord, Tina, Gladys, you can only imagine. Kelly, Karen, Krista, Katrina, Bob, you can only imagine. Miss Thaddee, you can only imagine. Kanisha Kendrick, you can't imagine the good thing God has for him. Miss Thaddee, you can't imagine how good God is going to be to you. You can only imagine, Curtis King, you can only imagine this. God will show them. Bella, you can only imagine. You can only imagine how God is prepared and what God is prepared to do for those that love Him. We offer you Christ this morning. Sister Willie May, you can only imagine. I know this God will keep you safe. We don't have to imagine that. He will keep you safe. And the good thing he has in store for us, we can only imagine. We offer you Christ this morning that died on the cross. If you're out of the ark of safety, we offer you Christ, the son of the living God. Give your heart to God. Give your hand to one of these pastors, preachers, teachers, deacon online, and we'll make sure you get where you should need to go. You can only imagine. You can only imagine. I know this. I don't have to imagine this. I don't have to wonder about this. I know that God will keep you safe. He will keep you safe. He will keep us safe. Amen. God bless you with our prayer for you. Continue to pray for Cat. Continue to pray for Clayton Stain and Ginger family. Amen. Don't forget to rock the boat. COVID is still alive. Mask up. Protect yourself. Amen. If you are out of the ark of safety, and you know God can keep you safe, pray this prayer for me. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've gone contrary to you well. Save me, Lord God. I'm crying out to you. I believe that you died for my sin and that you rose the third day with all power. I confess with my mouth. And you said that simple prayer, you are saved. God bless you. God keep you. Here's our prayer for you. Amen. Don't forget the, the cash out. New Corinthians. All right, and, and you from other churches, don't forget to support your church. But if you want to sow into the ministry, please do so. New current, uh, new current uh, tunica. But don't, don't forget, 
that can cash out new correct return of God. But don't forget, your trade first. So until your trade first, Bob, will it make And then, if you, God bless you, then so until our church. But for our church member, don't forget the tithes and the offering. Amen. You can only imagine, but know this. God will take care of you. Amen. God will take care of me. Cash out new current tonica. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. Amen. Let me back this up just a little bit. Let us pray. Day of days, how are you this morning? God bless you. Gracious Lord, we thank and praise you for life. We praise you for help and we praise you for strength. And we thank you, Lord God, for protecting us. We turn it over to you, Lord. We pray, Lord God, and turn it over to you. And we realize, Lord God, you work it out. And we can get that sweet rest that comes from knowing that you will keep us safe and give us that joy. Now, may the love of God, the grace of our Lord, the Savior Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and by be just now here for forevermore. And God surely said amen. God bless you. God keep you our prayer for you. Amen. We'll see you Wednesday night with another exciting message from on high. Don't forget, please, ma'am, please, sir, share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with your neighbors and your co-workers and your network. To God be the glory. I can only imagine.